What it is, guys, it's your old boy, Pilt, coming at you with the Dragon Ball Super discussion. Now, we are leading up and hyping episode 100. And episode 100 is a big deal, a big deal for this series. Uh, I think many of us that watched it from the start didn't really think it would go this far, but I don't know about you guys, I for one am excited to see it happen and to see it go this far. So, what I want to talk about today is the revelation that we got in the preview that Khalifla is, in fact, Super Saiyan 2. Uh, we saw it in episode 93. She had this transformation where her hair changed and everything. All the clues were there, uh, up to and including the fact that she was able to best uh, Kale in her berserker state, who was who knocked out uh, Kaba. So, all the clues were there. You should have known. I pretty much suspected it. We, But we should have all figured out she was Super Saiyan 2. I, now... This is a lot of people up in arms, and I get it. Let's talk about the good and the bad here real quick. Um, I do think I'm, I'm going to start with the bad. I'm going to start with the bad because I think the good is a detailed discussion. So as far as the bad goes, she went in a matter of minutes from Super Saiyan, just achieving Super Saiyan, to Super Saiyan 2. And she achieved Super Saiyan through that, I say, retcon asshole of it's a tingly feeling in your back. Now, when Kaba got Super Saiyan, he got Super Saiyan through the traditional means. And I say traditional, like Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Future Trunks, all those guys. And that is beaten down, um, a moment of desperation and rage. Now, if you remember back to the tournament, um, he was just completely outclassed by Vegeta. Vegeta was, I mean, just doing him wrong. And then he's just like, you know what? After I kick your ass, I'm going to come to your house. I'm, I'm going to have sex with your dog. I'm going to eat your food. I'm going to kill your parents. I'm going to punch your kid's sister. I'm going to burn your house down. And I'm going to piss on the ashes. And then I'm going to destroy your planet and fucking eat spaghetti. So whatever the fuck. I don't know. He went batshit. And he did. He, he turned uh, Kaba into a Super Saiyan by... by the same means that everyone else, including himself, had turned before. He knew how to do it. He knew how to unlock it. So there was no mystery there. Now, Kaba goes to teach Khalifa, and he's just bullshitting with her. Uh, you look ugly, and y your feet smell funny. And she's like, motherfucker, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> it just wasn't going to work. So I, in a way, he had to come up with something else. But this bullshit ass pull of, it's a tingly feeling in your back. Whatever. Now... I will discuss a reason why that actually could be a good thing. But we'll get to that in a moment. So, the bad. She learns to do Super Saiyan. They get in this fight with Kale. She tries to unlock it with Kale. Kale gets her berserker form, which is kind of cool in and of itself. This kind of homage to Broly. She can't control it. She's just fucking wild with rage. It's a thing. Now, what happens? Kale fucks Kaba right the shit up. I mean, fucks his ass up. And Khalifa comes in with the save. So she bests Kale. Uh, she's got this new, like, hairdo and all this shit. And it looks just like Goku Super Saiyan 2. That all the clues were there. I called it at the time. I said, that there's no question, it's Super Saiyan 2. We finally got the confirmation, it's Super Saiyan 2. And people are mad. And in... Like I just discussed, I get it. Now, it it see it's that achieving the better transformation in a matter of minutes is just crazy. Now, let me explain why. The more I think about this, I think it's actually quite plausible. Now, let's for there's a couple reasons. There's a couple reasons. Let's first talk about the genetics of the universe six Saiyans. If you remember back the Universe 6 arc, we found out that Earth was destroyed. So in a way, Universe 6 is the polar opposite of Universe 7. Universe 6 has no Earth, but has a planet Sadal, their equivalent of Vegeta. Universe 7 has no Vegeta, but has an Earth. What happened? A couple of Saiyans came over to Earth, started doing their thing, and spread their genetic code. That means that our... Our DNA, the, the Saiyans and the humans, are close enough, we're a perfect match to produce not just offspring, like mules, which are inherently um, uh, infertile, they're inherently sterile, 
But we know Gohan can produce offspring. We know, uh, I don't think we've seen Trunks produce offspring in the series. But we know that I'm Pan did, and she's like a quarter Saiyan. So we know that it's that the offspring that the Saiyan human hybrids produce is fertile. So it's a very close genetic match. So what if, now follow me here, what if in Universe 6, and this is all headcanon, but in Universe 6, a couple humans came over to planets at all and started doing their thing with the Saiyans. The genetic code is spread around, and we know the way Saiyans work is uh, it's just a means to an end. There's, there's Love ain't a thing to them. They're just like, let's get down to business. We're done. Bye-bye. Go have your babies. So, with enough time, the Saiyans could have interbred and become this other, whole other species, so to speak. Remember, they're a lot more wiry. They're not, they're not as buff or as strong. They're not the warrior race because of a lot, because of the way they were, I say bred, but... Yeah, for lack of a better word, eugenics was a thing. We learned that from Frost. And so couple that with the fact they don't have tails, it's quite plausible to see they're probably all human Saiyan hybrids. We know all human Saiyan hybrids have a higher potential than just raw universe level type Saiyans. The universe seven type Saiyans. So all head cannon, but that's it's in my mind that's one plausible situation. So then we go and we, we take Kaba over. He's trying to teach Kali Flo the transformation. She learns it just, pff, it's a thing. They find a real quick, easy way to achieve the transformation. Now, what happens? She's faced with this desperate situation. She has to take out Kale. She's already fairly angry because <laughs> she's a mad, she's like me, she's a mad person. So, uh, you have all that situation. And she finally gets that moment of, all right, I'm fucking done. And what does she do? That's when she unlocks that transformation. What if the Super Saiyan 2 was her version of that, that Gohan snap, so to speak? Um, I know Gohan had his own thing to overcome in the time chamber, but his Super Saiyan 2 transformation was just, I have to overcome this power. Same thing. So in a way... I can kind of see it. Super Saiyan was nothing to her. It was second nature. Kind of like the way Trunks and Goten transformed. That human Saiyan hybrid thing. I could kind of see it. Now, we know they have more potential, etc., etc. Inherently speaking, I can kind of see where this is going. Even if it isn't necessarily, you know, the human Saiyan thing. Um... It's quite possible that this is just basically a higher level transformation she achieved because of the necessity. And yes, I get it's a, it's a cheap plot device. But at the same time, it also introduces us, as far as just if you just want to talk about the plot device, it introduces us to a, a transformation that we've long since forgot about as far as the series canon goes. We haven't seen Goku do Super Saiyan 2 for a long time time. And if you remember towards the end of Z, Super Saiyan 2 was the base Super Saiyan transformation. Everybody just bypassed Super Saiyan 2. In fact, if you really think about it, Super Saiyan 2 was never really called Super Saiyan 2. When it became a thing, it was Super Saiyan Grade 5. It was treated almost like a perfected, they call it ascended, version of Super Saiyan. So in a way, if she just gets Super Saiyan natively, and she has all this potential and she's a prodigy, she hits this state of desperation. Seeing her go, oh, okay, I... She has this basically revelation, just all in that moment on screen, she finds all this hidden potential in her and goes Super Saiyan Grade 5. A perfected, a twice powerful version of Super Saiyan that doesn't have the drawbacks of those previous grades. She skipped all the grades. Kind of like Gohan did. Gohan skipped all those grades. Uh, with the, no, Gohan had grade 4, I take that back. Gohan had grade 4, the native Super Saiyan, but... Eh. Neither here nor there, guys. If you really think about it like a perfected form, like grade 5, perfected, a, you know, full power Super Saiyan, I believe is one of the ways they call it, one of the, one of the ways they described it. It's twice as powerful as regular Super Saiyan, it's, you know, just brought on, it's like, an, it's like a pinnacle form of it. 
I could kind of see that. She's described as being a prodigy, so to speak. I don't think they use the exact words, but she's talking about having all this potential. I kind of get it. I really do. So all those reasons, I really do understand where they were going and why they could say, oh, okay, well, she's now Super Saiyan 2. And again, I get it's a cheap plot device to reintroduce a new form. But also remember, Kaba has original Super Saiyan form. Kale has that Broly form. Kalefa would be kind of a boring character if she didn't have something unique. And if they had another 100% unique version, like Rage or Rose or any one of those, it'd feel really cheap. It would it would cheapen Super Saiyan even more than it already is. So, from a story standpoint, I get it. From a genetic standpoint, I think I understand where it's going. And from a standpoint of necessity, I think it was... The right move, just not the right time. You know what I mean? But what's your thoughts? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, there's a lot to talk about, and I, th I think I'm at the point where I can accept it. And maybe it's just because I want to accept it and I want to explain it away. I really think it's okay. I, I understand why she has Super Saiyan 2. If you don't, if you don't like any of these explanations, or if you have your own explanation, comment below. Let me know and share this out. Let's get a discussion going. I really want to get this moving and, and talk about this, because it's, it's a series that I absolutely love, and I hope you love it, too. If you've been watching it, I mean, I can't see how you wouldn't. Um, that's really what I have to say, guys. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, remember the Gleam campaign down below. All you got to do is sub and win free shit. And there's always the social media element. Hit me up on book. I can actually rest my head on my hat today. Hit me up on Booker, and I will lay your ass out next time.